नमस्कार वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस एजुकेशनल वीडियो ऑफ एन आई यू एस टूडेज सब्जेक्ट इज ई वी एस कोड नंबर फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट इज थ्री 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 दिस इज फॉर सीनियर सेकेंडरी लेवल वी आर डूइंग लेसन नंबर फोर एंड टॉपिक ऑफ द लेसन इज शोन ऑन द स्क्रीन इट इज प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इकोलॉजी principles means different rules and the word ecology is a kind of system in which different things are linked together in a different way so today we will be learning this lesson now let us talk about our lessons objective the first objective is we will be defining the term ecology the second objective is we will be able to explain the relationship between organisms and its habitat with a special mention of the human species you will understand how organism and human species and the environment are related after that we will be able to recognize the levels of ecological organizations from organisms to population and after that we will be able to understand and differentiate between habitat and niche and also will be able to describe the concept of species so all these are objectives which we will be learning in our lesson now this is the meaning of ecology in a very simple words ecology means there is a an interrelated relationship of an organism with biotic and abiotic factors of our environment as we know that there are various biotic components and also some abiotic components like air sun water soil temperature all these are the abiotic components so when they interact then that interrelationship is known as ecology let me explain you with an example like we are human and we need water so we need water water is a biotic component and also we need sun and also we need air for breathing so similarly plants also need us air also need us to continue move forward in our life now this word ecology was the word which was given by a german biologist whose name is ernst hekel which is shown on the screen also and first time this word was used in the year 1869 you know this word ecology when we break this word ecology so we get two words and if you see 
these words have been taken from greek so eco is a greek word oikos in greece means home and estate and the other word logos it means study so oikos can be considered as home or estate now here we will be understanding the ecology ecology word can be defined as the scientific study of the relationship of living organisms with each other and with the environment and when there is an relationship then the emphasis is on the relationship between organisms and the components of the environment what kind of components the components can be biotic and abiotic components so the relationship between abiotic and biotic components are known as ecology as we already know here let us now understand the ecological levels of organization which we will be learning here the ecological level of organization spectrum it emphasizes the interaction of the living which is biotic and the non living which is abiotic component which leads to formation of a system at each level there are different levels and all the components interact on those levels for example a community which has biotic components they make ecosystem with the help of energy and matter like sun water earth temperature all these are the components of our ecosystem let us now understand the levels of organization from individual to biosphere in nature it includes the different levels the first level is the individual level b is the second level which is population c is the third level which is known as community fourth level is here d which is known as ecosystem fifth level is e which is biome and the last sixth level is f which is biosphere this is the topmost layer so we will be understanding all these six levels of organization further here we can see the first level of ecological organization the first level is individual organism so the basic unit of study as we already know the second level is population it is a group of organisms consisting of different populations that live in any defined area or you can say at a defined place the third level is community and community means 
a group of organisms which consist of a number of different species that live in an area and they all interact with each other. The next level, which is fourth level, that is ecosystem. Ecosystem has communities of organisms and their physical environment. They all interact as an ecological unit. And the fifth level is the biome. It is a large community unit which is characterized by a major vegetation type and associated fauna which is found in a specific climatic region which is known as a biome. Biome here refers to basically the terrestrial area. The aquatic system like the sea, the river, the water, temperature, all the trees and all the natural environment they all are divided into distinct life zones on the basis of the environment. And if you talk about the aquatic life, then there are rivers, oceans, and that also have different kinds of components inside them like air has different components, water has different components. This is the sixth topmost level. Its name is biosphere. Biosphere is the study of human activities which affects the earth like global climate and ozone hole etc. It prevents the earth from the harmful rays or radiation from the sun. As we all know that ozone protects earth. Thank you. Namaste.